Why does it look like I'm in my like child's nursery right now? I literally look like a mother. Nope, that's just, that's mine. <laughs> it has been about almost three weeks since I moved into my own apartment alone. And obviously my life has changed quite a bit since then. The last day in my life video that I did was a few months ago. So today I just thought I would vlog my day, what my days have been looking like, what I've been up to. Yes, I just got dressed and did my makeup, but we'll get to that in a second. Before we do, I just wanna say this video is sponsored by The Real Real, which is a luxury consignment shop app and website where you can buy designer things like Chanel, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, and so much more for up to 90% off. Yes, they have a team of experts that make sure everything is real and authenticates every item sold. You can also sell. You can either ship your items directly, use the white glove service, or go to one of the Real Real's 10 stores and drop your item off. I am not someone who ever wants to pay full price for a designer item. I've always wanted a designer bag, but never enough to actually like spend the full amount of money on it because it's just ridiculous but I got this beautiful Prada bag for 50% off and it's literally in perfect condition and I never would have gotten it if it wasn't 50% off <laughs> I can't believe I have a Prada bag it's truly so unlike me but you guys can click the link in the description to get $25 off your first order and 20% off of most items with the code real and with that said let's get back into the video something is wrong with the alarm system in my apartment building and it keeps going off and it's not just like a blaring noise that terrifies you out of your sleep when you're already having a nightmare it's also a lady speaking um saying like there has been an emergency please exit do not use the elevator use the stair just terrifyingly um literally feels like something from the purge and that happened at 4 a.m and 6 a.m i have been having a lot of nightmares um i'm i'm genuinely doing really well but i have been having quite a bit of nightmares. I don't know how my brain can create these things. I really don't. I usually rely on my dreams for like, you know, happiness. And, oh, maybe that's why. Maybe since I'm actually happy in my real life, my dreams are like, you don't need us anymore. So they're all just like terrifying. Anyways, why am I even talking about this? Let's get started with the day. I got my hair done yesterday. Can you tell? I just keep gradually going blonder. It is 9.49, which is crazy because <laughs> Normally, I would be waking up at like 11, which I'm not gonna lie, I still have done, but I went to bed at like midnight last night, which is so weird for me because I am the type of person that likes to go to bed at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. I'm a night owl, but I've been so tired lately and don't know why. I'm just so used to laying in bed doing nothing. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna flash the camera because I'm, I'm in my satin robe. Adulting! I haven't decorated my apartment much. I literally just have my couch, a TV, and like a rug. I like literally have the interior decoration skills of a straight man. Just kidding, they're not that bad. <laughs> First thing I'm gonna do is get dressed, obviously, because I am not right now. Uh, did I say I showered today? Well, I did. I showered, scrubbed my body real good, so. I just need to go in here real quick, and then when I come out, you know, just yeah. Well, that didn't work because I didn't like any of the clothes I had, so I decided to cut up a really pretty dress. I mean, it's fine, but I got this top out of it, which is literally just a piece of fabric that's tied in the back, and it's definitely gonna fall down as I keep moving. This is where you do my makeup for now. I have to move all of my makeup to my other room, but I don't feel like doing that. That was weird. Lately, I've just been wearing very natural makeup. Every time I put on like dark eye makeup, I hate it, as you guys know. If you watched my moving video, I mentioned how much I hate driving. I know so many people who love driving and find it relaxing. I am not one of those people. I find it stressful. The fact that it is more dangerous than flying in a plane terrifies me. And yesterday I almost got in two accidents within 20 minutes and they were both my fault. So yeah. I have been driving on the highway, which is something that scares me. I mean, I've driven on the highway before. It's just, it's not something I have tons of experience with. That sounded like a sexual innuendo and it wasn't. Moving on. What the fuck was that? If a really disgusting man came up to me on the street and said, if you give me a kiss right now, you never have to drive again a day in your life. I would kiss him. <sighs> I don't know. I like challenging myself. I, it looks like I'm a niker. I like challenging myself. I feel like the last three weeks have just been like challenge after challenge after challenge. 
it. Also, if you didn't watch Claudia, my sister's moving video, yes, she moved into the same building as me on the same floor, literally 10 doors down, which has been really, really nice. Um, that was not planned. She was gonna move somewhere else, but we can go grocery shopping together. I hate going grocery shopping alone. I know some of you were asking about Salem, of course, why I didn't bring her, whatever. I didn't bring her, the same reason I didn't bring her to Florida, because she's old and she is a very nervous, anxiety-ridden cat. She would be terrified if I uprooted her from the only environment she's known like her whole life and just brought her to a brand new one. I do visit home quite a bit. Literally yesterday, I had to go to my hometown to get my hair done and just sat and cuddled with her for like an hour and a half. I literally miss her so much. Like it really does suck. <sighs> so cute. You could literally put a black cat on anything and I'll probably cry over it. Yeah, I really wish I would stop having nightmares. Like I really miss having dreams that are so good that you wake up and you're like, fuck. I really do think my brain was compensating for my really uneventful life. Yes, you can't win them all. Eyeshadow. I feel like I always say eyeshadow in a British accent in my videos because it's just so fun to say. Eyeshadow, say it. Eyeshadow. British people are like, <laughs> Dumb fucking American bitch. Yeah, I am. <laughs> what about it? I don't like that. <laughs> Fuck me down, alright? Mascara is another really fun word to say in an English accent. Say it. Mascara. Tomato. <laughs> fucking weirdos. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I said in a video that I would never be a natural blonde, but I don't know that bitch. My entire thought process and everything about me changes every few months, so yeah. Who wants to date me? Just kidding. I don't want to date anyone. Ever. I want to be alone. I crave solidarity. I've been using this Glossier lipstick that like hardly does anything, which I like. I like to diffuse it, you know? I don't know, maybe I just gave someone a little kiss. I wish! And I followed it up with some cherry chapstick. Yes, it's true, Katy Perry wrote, I kissed a girl about me, even though that song came out when I was like five. I don't know, when did it come out? Fenty Beauty setting spray. I love this stuff. We're done. Downside of living alone is that you have to do all of the cleaning. And I have a sink full of dishes, so first thing I'm gonna do is that. <sighs> cleaning I think it's kind of therapeutic. I love vacuuming. <laughs> Am I just gonna become like a really boring person now? <laughs> no. No. Okay, you know what I do need to do? Eat. Well, you guys know how I said I wanted a hot neighbor? <laughs> and I brought my big old melons. <laughs> good. good one. We're gonna make breakfast. Ew. What? Why does it look like that? <sighs> Ew. Ew! I've never tasted something so rotten in my life. Oh my god, that is disgusting! <laughs> That's something I never want to taste again. Wow, that was so bad. <laughs> That's what she said.
So me and Claudia decided that we were going to try out our apartment gym. Uh, you have to like reserve a spot and wear a mask unless you're doing cardio. As we all know, I am not a gym person. I actually hate going to the gym. <laughs> I don't know, I, I prefer to like go on a hike or something. So I never go, but every once in a while I fancy a trip to the local gym. <sighs> I think Brandon's coming over as well. We're all gonna get food, spend some quality sibling time together. Sunday. Sunday is be like. You don't know how I said all that shit about going to the gym? I lied. Brandon is on his way here and I didn't want to be at the gym while he arrived. So I'm a good sister. No, like it's not because I don't want to go to the gym. It's because I'm a good sister. Wow, they have a rooftop pool. <laughs> There's not much that's very hot. This is special lighter. Ah! This is Kennedy's hair clip. I sell it on eBay for thousands. I need money. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kennedy's knife. Very sharp. Do not leave it out when she's having a bad day. <laughs> oh, what else? We got Kennedy's bedroom. If I walk in Kennedy's bedroom wearing these shoes, she will assassinate me. True. I cannot do that. Why is all your makeup on the floor? Because I don't have a makeup I'll, desk. Yet. I'll give you a makeup desk. No, you won't. You give me don't credit say card, that. I'll order it for you. <laughs> <Fuck> you. <laughs> this is a uh, butt. Vase. This is my favorite item in the entire apartment. <laughs> Mine too. This is actually a sculpted figurine of my butt. Okay, never mind. Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a 30 second apartment tour. Go. Kitchen, living room, bedroom here, closet, bathroom. That was like five seconds and I didn't see anything, but fun fact, I actually got this from my apartment, but it didn't look good. So I gave it to Claudia because I'm a good sister. Somebody give me a blanket, please. It's that Mind hot. Come on, baby. Cover my feet, please. They're cold. Ew, he's been in the gym and now he's on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are at the plant center. It's a brisk 95 degrees out. <laughs> no I set myself aside be the way on this trial if you don't know the way we can stop and make a change I know we walk for days losing hope fading love this night will be okay waking up to another so cute. These things are amazing. They're like little wafers that have chocolate inside of them. Chocolate in there. What do you mean? I said kill him. I just spit down my shirt. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go rethink the way that I present myself to the world. I'm currently holding up my tripod with my toes. So I just watched a movie. It was called Palm Springs. It had Andy Samberg in it. It was pretty good. Kind of weird. And now it's 8.05. Dude, look at this lighting. I mean, I will most likely spend the rest of the night on this couch. Actually, I'll probably be editing this video, but I'll still be on this couch. Right there. I think that's pretty much my day. I mean, the rest of the night is going to be me eating soup and laying on the couch. So I look pink. I look like I'm in the womb. I wish I was. <laughs> Everything was so much easier in there. I hope this gave you guys a little insight as to what my life is like now as an independent woman adult. Thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you to The Real Real for sponsoring this video. I love my purse so much. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off. Bye.